Imagine trying to type on a keyboard using a big rubber ball. I'm trying to make it pointy. <laughs> That's the kind of problem Victor Seron tries to help solve at Yahoo's Accessibility Lab. Born in Ukraine, he lost his eyesight as a child. Well, when I saw a computer for the first time, suddenly something clicked in my mind and I was like, wow, this is such a great tool. I can do so many things, you know, I can scan books, I can compose music, I can go to encyclopedia, I can browse websites. And so I, I got into accessibility field maybe by need, if you will, you know, because that's technology I live on everyday basis. Start it again. The lab helps programmers and developers understand how disabled people use computers and access the internet. For users with limited hand movement, a single button replaces the keyboard. For users paralyzed from the neck down, a head mouse was developed. The computer can sense where the user is looking thanks to a sticker placed on the forehead. There are also similar devices that sense jaw movements or finger taps. Victor uses a braille display and a screen reader. Hello Victor, how are you doing today? When a user gets proficient, they can actually understand this. So you get the idea, right? You can understand what they're saying? Yeah, I can. I have nothing against charity, nothing against philanthropy, but I've yet to meet a person with a disability who wants to be considered an object of charity. They, they want to be considered, in general, as part of the mainstream, which means, in part, they, they are customers, and they want to be seen as no less demanding or discerning a customer as anybody else. Still, there's no doubt the lab's work is changing lives. You know, salary increases are great, but nothing warms your heart better than hearing from users saying, you know, I love your new feature that you guys implemented, or I loved using your particular site. Yahoo's Accessibility Lab has been up and running for about two years now. Those working here say they hope in another 10 years, accessibility issues will be solved and the lab will no longer be needed. Haven Daily, The Associated Press, Sunnyvale, California.